If all the coral dies, not only would it be a shame, if we lose our coral reefs, it'd be like losing our forests and then wonder where the animals were. The value of Moat Marine Laboratory's programs here in the Florida Keys is immeasurable. They are going out with a variety of scientists and getting very specific answers to very important questions to help us better manage our coral reefs. Well, Moat's Tropical Research Lab became a lab to do a number of things. And our first few years were really looking at monitoring how bad coral reefs were getting. So we decided to do something good about it. Well, today we're gonna go out to our underwater coral nursery. Um, we're growing uh, staghorn coral. And what we do is we take small clippings of this coral and we grow it in a couple of different methods underwater where we've got over, uh, over 13,000 corals in our nursery and we're putting thousands of those corals back out on the reef every year. Moda's doing a multi-pronged approach. We're looking first at finding which of these coral species have survived, and we're cultivating those and planting them back onto the reefs. We're also looking at other factors. We're interested in studying beneficial bacteria, how they help keep corals healthy. So we're trying to figure out what organisms are out there acting as pathogens what organisms are out there that actually make corals healthier and how we can make sure that those corals survive in the future. When we first got into this project, we always assumed that the thing that would limit us the most would be the, the growth rate of this coral. Corals, by nature, are very slow-growing animals. Um, it turns out we find that we can grow these corals four times faster than in the wild. Uh, we never expected to have greater than 90, 95% survivorship after a year, uh, but that's what we're seeing. Uh, with the methods that we're using. So four times the growth uh, in the nursery and 95% and survivorship once put back out in the wild. We can replant thousands of pieces of them called fragments that will make full colonies, even to the tune of millions in the near future. We're doing something very unique here at Moat, instead of waiting thousands of years for Mother Nature to make that happen. There are so many questions that still need to be answered about coral reefs. If we use the research that's being conducted at Moat, within 10 years or 20 years from now, we could actually maintain the healthy ecosystems, the coral reefs that we have today. It's generally difficult to get funded to do things that nobody has done. <laughs> and that's what we like to do at Moat. Really the only limitation to this project or the only thing that's holding us back from really meet, reaching the full potential is, is, is funding. And the funding relates directly to the number of people that we can involve and, and the time we can spend on it. People have asked me what it'll cost to restore all the corals back the way they remember. But I have to ask them, what will it cost if we don't do anything? <laughs>